Hi guys, um, good morning. So this is me again behind PH, and today I'm I'm going to rep uh, replanting uh, my aloe vera here in my front because I see that okay, it's time to give my aloe vera a uh, best soil that um, that I can give for this for my plants. So let's start, guys. I will going to use um a uh, uh, pure worm casting and. Uh, I'm going to mix it with some um, sand and stone, small stone that also I have here. So here, here guys, is the uh, no, the soil and uh, some stone, small stone, small st uh, some um, garden stone that I will going to mix with my albera. Uh, this soil is came from a mini who give this whole whole um whole set of uh pot the plants and the soil which the plants was already passed out and died this past uh month because of you know some problem regarding to care <laughs> because this plant is giving to my sister-in-law and she said she's very busy doing uh, so many things and he forget to uh, to water her plants and it's all uh, the old plants is died so let's start guys um, if you're going to ask me why I'm going to repot my plants uh, before that, uh, this plant case is came from our supermarket during the bargain time, and this one is they say that oh it's a uh, it's a giant it's a giant aloe vera, and I really see that according to the mother stock because the mother stock has already died a year ago. Um, and that's a uh, big thing that uh, we must to know first. That uh, before we are going to re um, repotting or replanting our, our plants, we must need to know what the plants they are. If they are a um, water lover or they just simply love moisture or they are the um, survivor of the desert. It's a good thing because um, during the time where I repot the mother stack, it was a rainy uh, bare month and most um exactly it is september maybe or july where there is uh rainy season here in the philippines and that's not a good thing to do uh to do guys are repotting your aloe vera or your desert plant during the rainy ra rainy season because you must say goodbye to your plants and just what happened to the mother stack i'm just very disappointing to myself that as a plant grower, I did not know what the what is the month the best month to repot or replanting my aloe vera. So I just simply say goodbye. That's really a big big aloe vera with thick uh, leaves and with a good soil uh, soil stock also soil beds and that's all. And today I will going to repot these plants because I want to to get some uh, baby pups. And I was still thinking na uh, hindi hindi ito ano hindi hindi maganda yung um, yung gamit kong lupa sa ngayon kasi ito guys is um, be, dahil nga alam ko na ang aloe vera is uh, desert plant so ginamit ko uh, pure soil as my soil beds o yung pinakataniman then I just simply uh, put some warm casting on the upper part or in the in the upper part of the of the soil system or of the soil beds of this um, aloe vera and um, she's really doing well but it's it's summer and it's very quickly dry the whole soil beds so and guys ang kailang kong gawin ngayon is uh, gagamit ako ng um, more on the mix of uh, one half worm casting one part soil soil uh, and uh, no one half uh, 50 percent of the soil bed is worm casting and maybe 
15, 15, 15, 15 sand, 15 soil, and uh, um, whatever I have here, I will going to mix it with 50% of the worm casting and look for some good things will have that happen, or maybe 60%. I don't, not, I did not get the exact amount of 60% by the hundred. Um, hundred as a standard for my soil base but i'm trying to make to to mix uh more on worm casting than the soil and this the stone and sand so that's all for for now let's let's start this uh, this morning project uh this pants guys um i get oh sorry i i know I was distracted. This band is, according to to the supplier, this band is belong to the family of uh, Alberta Barbadensis, which is maybe a true things because a mother sex is very big plants, but because uh, Alberta Barbadensis has different varieties, which are, uh, some of them is have a large leaf while some others have a long leaves, with some with a good wide uh, leaves. This one is uh, what I got. I see that there's so many type of uh, alibera plants. It's almost one ruler in in height. Every plant, every leaves, which uh, you can depreciate our own native alibera from the uh, imported alibera. So this is maybe a two years old now. I think so. 2017, 2018, 2019, maybe two years old now. But during the uh, the time, I don't have so much uh, I my attention and my focus on aloe vera was um uh, was changed into something. Then I just simply let my aloe vera to grow without so much uh, getting effort. At uh, remember, guys, um, according to study, plants also have. Uh, feelings uh, they feel us if we are care about them and then if we are really care about them they will grow better and then if we don't they just simply feel stunted and they did not grow better sure you guys and so that's really uh, um, um, uh, important aloe vera and also I see my some of my Facebook uh, some Facebook personnel that uh, they also have an aloe vera which is uh, a very beautiful aloe vera and also uh, uh, Barbadensis Miller belong to their family which has a uh, very very big uh, leaves here wide leaves here then um, become uh, thinner and the tip <clears throat> so guys ayun, um, let's start this uh, naglagay nga pala ako dito ng uh, last time ng, o, ng worm casting and I need to remove that um, so if, why you must to have your own aloe vera because it is very useful um, uh, 5 years from now maybe you can see the be, uh, the goodness of being a gardener or being a plant lover by planting more on uh, useful plants which is herbal, uh, fruits, vegetable. Then a year ago now you can see what you uh, what you are reaping from what you are planting. So that's really a really good thing about this guys. And uh, also according to um, the study guys, aloe vera is. Contain so many uh, chemical compounds, which is very useful. It contains some elements that uh, our body helps to fight some, so many type, so many kind of diseases. So, uh, but according also to study, guys. You can benefit from the plants, aloe gel, which is contain high, um, 
vitamins, minerals, and um, chemical compounds, components which is useful for our body. When this aloe vera is already five years of age, so I need to wait for three years. Ouch. Top my aloe vera like this. And okay, I get the whole plants. What I'm doing is, is uh, I must need to remove all the stuff. Okay, I will. And the repotting, guys, this is really important <coughs> that we not must do do this. Uh, gawin natin to para mas easily na mag break yung um yung soil into the ano the container like this and you can just turn it out and you can pull out your plants you see Here's the system of my aloe vera plants, which I uh, pull out from the soil. So where's my mixture guys, it's a saw, it's a warm casting as you can see, with some sand, stone, and soil.